Hey YouTube, Southwest 252 here with another video. This time it's of Northern Virginia International Airport update number 96 for November of 2023. But before I get into the update, I would just like to say I'd really appreciate it if you could check out my Instagram. The link for that is in the description below. We're going to start off at Terminal 4 with this Breeze A22300, which will be going to Huntsville. This Avello 737-800 will be going to Orlando. This Southwest 737-700 in the Florida One livery has pulled in from Tampa or TPA Spotter 11's airport and will then be going to Austin or Aviation 14's airport. This Southwest 737-700 in the Colorado One livery has pulled in from New York LaGuardia or Rocky Mountains Aviation's airport and will then be going to Grand Teton Yellowstone International Airport or SLC Aviation's airport. This Southwest 737-700 in the Maryland One livery has pulled in from Park City or Hens Airs Aviation's airport and will then be going to Kansas City or MCI Aviation's airport. This Southwest 737-700 in the Missouri One livery has pulled in from Everglades Southern Florida International Airport or SLC Aviation's airport and will then be going to Los Angeles or Alex Aviation 420's airport. This Southwest 737-800 in the Freedom One livery has pulled in from Grand Rapids or Captain NASCAR 24's airport and will then be going to Orange County or Cade Lallum's airport. This Southwest 737-800 in the Tennessee One livery will be going to Pittsburgh or PIT Aviation's airport. This Southwest 737-800 in the Illinois One livery will be going to Chicago Midway. This Southwest 737-700 in the Arizona One livery will be going to Nashville or Braden's Aviation's airport. This Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown One livery will be going to Atlanta. The Southwest 737-700 California One will be going to Phoenix Sky Harbor. This Southwest 737 MAX 8 in the Desert Gold livery will be going to Dallas Love Field. This Southwest 737-800 will be going to Orlando. This Southwest 737 MAX 8 will be going to Blue Sky International or MAX 8 Aviations Airport. The next Southwest 737 MAX 8 will be going to Memphis. The Southwest 737-700 in the Louisiana One livery will be going to Denver. And the Southwest 737-700 in the Lone Star One livery will be going to San Diego. Over at Terminal 3, this United 737-800 has pulled in from Boston or Aviation with Connors Airport and will then be going to Denver or Mile High Aviation's airport. This United A319 has pulled in from Flagstaff Plume International or Flagstaff Eight Geeks Airport, and will then be going to Pittsburgh or PIT Aviation's airport. This United 737-900 has pulled in from Seattle. This United 737-MAX-8 will be going to Houston Intercontinental. This United 737-MAX-9 will be going to Los Angeles. This United 737-900 will be going to Chicago O'Hare. And this United 737-800 will be going to Sun County International Airport or Kyle 799's airport. This Delta A220-100 has pulled in from Everglades Southern Florida International Airport or SLC Aviation's airport and will then be going to Ohio River International Airport or Riley Rail Aviation and Trucks' airport. This Delta 737-800 will be going to Star Valley International or Aviation 737's airport. This Delta 737-900 will be going to Detroit. This Delta A220-300 will be going to Grand Teton Yellowstone International Airport or SLC Aviation's airport. This Delta A321 will be going to Winston-Salem International Airport or Anomaly X's airport. This Delta A319 will be going to Minneapolis-St. Paul or Gemini Jets 2001's airport. This Delta A321neo will be going to Salt Lake City. This Spirit A320neo will be going to Chicago O'Hare. 
the Allegiant A320 will be going to Las Vegas. The Sun Country 737-800 will be going to Los Angeles or Dino Aviation Orca 1290's airport. And the Frontier A320neo will be going to Denver. Over at Terminal 2, this Alaska 737-800 will be going to Flagstaff Flame International or Flagstaff Apeaks Airport. This Alaska 737-900 has pulled in from Seattle or Amazing Aviation's airport and will then be going to Orange County or Comet 21's airport. And this Alaska 737 MAX 9 will be going to Seattle or IF Weekly 13's airport. This JetBlue A320 will be going to New York JFK. The JetBlue A190 will be going to Fort Lauderdale. The JetBlue A321 will be going to Orlando. And the JetBlue A321neo will be going to Las Vegas. This American A321neo has pulled in from Mooresville International or Valtonics's airport and will then be going to Flagstaff Plume International or Flagstaff Apeaks Airport. This American A319 has pulled in from Rocky View International or Gemini Jets 26's airport and will then be going to Orlando or Pinnacle Aviation's airport. And this American A319 will be going to Boston. This American 737-800 has pulled in from Chicago O'Hare or Blades Airport and will then be going to Dallas-Fort Worth or North Texas Spotters Airport. This American 737-800 has pulled in from New York JFK or Benjamin Myers' airport and will then be going to Raleigh-Durham or Gemini Jets 231's airport. This American 737-800 will be going to Sacramento. The next American 737-800 will be going to Nashville. This American 737 MAX 8 will be going to Pittsburgh or US Air Aviation 737's airport. And the next 737 MAX 8 will be going to Las Vegas. The American E320 will be going to Charlotte. And the American A321 has pulled in from Seattle Tacoma or SeaTac Aviation HD's airport and will then be going to Philadelphia or Aviation 2003's airport. Over at Terminal 1, here we have this American 777-200 in the One World livery, which will be going to Barcelona. This American 777-300 will be going to Sao Paulo. This American 787-9 will be going to London Heathrow or Michael Williams' airport. This American 777-300 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. This American 777-200 has just pulled in from Munich. The next American 777-300ER will be going to Frankfurt. This American 777-200 will be going to Lisbon. The American 787-9 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This American 787-8 will be going to Zurich. The next American 787-8 will be going to Amsterdam. This American 737-800 in the One World livery will be going to Cancun. This American A320 will be going to Mexico City. And the American A321 will be going to Los Cabos. This American 777-300 will be going to Madrid. And this American 787-9 will be going to Rome. Over at Terminal 5, this Air France 777-300 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This Lufthansa Airbus A330-300 will be going to Frankfurt or Captain K's airport. The Scandinavian A350-900 will be going to Copenhagen or Copenhagen Spotter 20's airport. 
the Korean Air 747-8 will be going to Seoul. The Qatar A350-900 will be going to Doha. The Etihad 787-9 will be going to Abu Dhabi. The ANA 777-300 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. The Virgin Atlantic A330-300 will be going to London Heathrow. The Emirates A380 will be going to Dubai. The Iberia A350-900 will be going to Madrid. And the ITA A350-900 will be going to Rome. The Qantas 787-9 will be going to Melbourne via Los Angeles. And the KLM 787-9 will be going to Amsterdam. The Copa 737-800 will be going to Panama City. The Aer Lingus A321neo will be going to Dublin. The British Airways A350-1000 will be going to London Heathrow. This JetBlue A321neo will be going to Cancun. The Iceland Air 737 MAX 8 will be going to Reykjavik. The WestJet 737 MAX 8 will be going to Edmonton. The Aeromexico 737-800 will be going to Guadalajara or Marco Perez's airport. The Air Canada 737 MAX 8 has pulled in from St. John's or CYYT Aviations Airport and will then be going to Toronto or Canadian Aviations Airport. This JetBlue A321neo will be going to Aruba. And the final JetBlue A321neo will be going to London Heathrow. Over at the regional aircraft, this American Eagle A175 will be going to Savannah. The American Eagle CRJ700 will be going to Greenville Spartanburg. This American Eagle CRJ900 will be going to Dayton, Ohio and the American Eagle A-175 will be going to Kansas City. The United Express CRJ-550 will be going to Newark. The United Express E-175 will be going to Manchester, New Hampshire. The Delta Connection E-170 will be going to Boston. And the Delta Connection CRJ-900 will be going to Philadelphia. And finally, over at Terminal 6, this United 767-300 will be going to Dublin. This Delta A330-300 will be going to Amsterdam. This Delta A330-900neo will be going to Hamburg or Widget 787's airport. This United 777-300 will be going to London Heathrow. This United 787-10 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This Delta A350-900 will be going to Seoul. This Delta A330-300 will be going to London Heathrow. This United 787-9 will be going to Dubai or Alex Aviation 420's airport. This United 777-300 will be going to Tokyo Haneda. This Delta A350-900 will be going to Tokyo Haneda as well. This Delta A350-900 will be going to Paris Charles de Gaulle. This United 787-9 will be going to Bangalore or Vicky's Aviations Airport. The United 777-200 in the Star Alliance livery will be going to Brussels. The United 757-200 in the Herart here, New York, New Jersey livery will be going to Reykjavik. The United 757-200 in the Herart here, California livery will be going to Glasgow. And the United 757-200 in the regular new livery will be going to Cancun. The Delta 737-900 will be going to Cancun as well. 
The Delta 757-200 will be going to Mexico City. The Delta A321 will be going to Aruba. And the Delta 737-800 in the Sky Team livery will be going to Monterrey or Rogelio Fuentes Marie's Airport. All right, that's going to be it for this update. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new. And once again, I would really appreciate it if you could check out my Instagram, and the link for that is in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Bye. We would like to point out the safety features of this Boeing 737-700 series aircraft. You're looking at the Southwest Airlines bestseller. It's a safety information card. It's in the seat of pocket in front of you. It works as a fan for no extra charge. You're welcome. And it reads as a comic book. It has a lot of short stories. None of them ends well. Absolutely.